In this video, we will be talking about decomposition reactions. When you think of the word decompose, you should think of something breaking down into smaller pieces. So here's the generic equation for a decomposition reaction. We have only one reactant. So it's easy to see when we have a decomposition reaction because we will only have one reactant. And then we will also have more than one product in a decomposition reaction. Let's try a sample decomposition problem. Have you ever heard the term limelight, meaning spotlight? So someone who likes to be in the spotlight likes to be in the limelight. It's an old term based on the burning of calcium oxide. If you heat calcium oxide to a very high temperature, it creates this wonderful glow. And back before electricity was invented, theaters used calcium oxide and use this glow from calcium oxide to illuminate the stage and shine a light on the actors and actresses on the stage. So the term limelight refers to this compound of calcium oxide. Let's take a look at what happens when we decompose calcium oxide. So we start with our reactant, which is calcium oxide. It's an ionic compound made of calcium ion and uh, an oxide ion. And when we break it down, we get calcium as an element and oxygen as an element. Keep in mind that oxygen is diatomic. So when we write the chemical formula for oxygen, we have to make sure that there's a little subscript two after it. Now notice the ionic compound doesn't have a two subscript. That's because oxygen isn't alone. We only include the subscript when oxygen is by itself. So we have calcium oxide breaks down into calcium and oxygen. The last thing we need to do is balance this equation. So two molecules of calcium oxide will break down. And when it does that, it will create two atoms of calcium and one molecule of oxygen. Now let's take a look at inside that reaction, what's really happening. So we have this ionic compound, which has calcium and it has a positive charge of two and oxide, which has a negative charge of two. And when you put these together, they're attracted to each other, which is what forms that bond, that ionic bond. That's what we have before the reaction takes place. After the reaction takes place, we have two neutral elements. Neither of them have a charge. So something is happening with electrons. Charges are changing, which means that electrons are being transferred, which means that this reaction is actually part of a larger group of reactions called oxidation reduction reactions. Let's try another sample problem. Write the reaction and balance the equation for the decomposition of dinitrogen monoxide. Now, dinitrogen monoxide is laughing gas, which is commonly used as an anesthetic. So this is a covalent compound. We know this because we have two nonmetals bonded to each other. Nonmetals want electrons. So when they're around other nonmetals, rather than taking electrons, they share them. So dinitrogen monoxide is written as N2O. We want to decompose this. So we're going to write it as N2O breaks down into, using an arrow, nitrogen and oxygen. Now remember, nitrogen is diatomic, so if it's by itself, we need to include that two subscript. Oxygen is also diatomic, so we need to include the two subscript there as well. The last thing we are going to do is balance this equation. So we're gonna put a two in front of the N2O, we're gonna put a two in front of the nitrogen, and a one in front of the oxygen. That way, on both sides, we have four nitrogen atoms, and on both sides, we have two oxygen atoms. All right, now I want you to pause the video and try this last problem all by yourself. Okay, so we have the decomposition of aluminum chloride. Now, aluminum chloride is commonly found in antiperspirants. So this is an ionic compound. We have aluminum and chloride, a metal and a nonmetal, a cation and an anion, and we write the formula by balancing the charges. So aluminum has a positive three charge, chloride has a negative one charge, which means we're going to need three chlorides for every one aluminum ion. So we will write this as AlCl3. So we're going to write this as a reactant because this is the chemical that's breaking down or decomposing. So we have AlCl3, 
breaks down into aluminum and chlorine. Now this is chlorine gas, which is Cl2, because chlorine is one of those diatomic elements. Do not forget about the diatomic elements. So aluminum is an element and chlorine is an element. It just so happens to be diatomic. So we have to include the two subscript. So once we write this, we're going to balance the equation. That's the last step in all of this. So I'm gonna need two sets of three chlorine and three sets of two chlorine atoms. And what that will do is that will give me six chlorine atoms on both sides. Then I just need to balance my aluminum and I'm good to go. So two formula units of AlCl3 decompose, creating two aluminum atoms and three molecules of chlorine.